There's people you come across in this life. They speak a different way. They act a certain way. They hold themselves to a higher standard and different character. Those people are reporting above. They don't lose the connection to the source. They've been through things where they, the times that they were facing adversity, they had to be connected to above for more moments strung together than 99.9% .9 of the people in existence. Those are esteemed advocates. Those are the individuals that when you come across them, they have a different energy. They're different individuals. They remind you of things and speak in ways that others can't. They've been changed. Something impacted them and changed them. They're the individuals that you could be totally immersed in a problem that is so juvenile. Then you would come across this individual's way of speaking, his language, his demeanor, his energy, and would fully set you straight. You would know that you've just met a conduit, an advocate, someone who the message flows directly through. There's very few of these people, but we're all supposed to be these people. That's the problem. We are all supposed to be living in congruence with our conscience. And when you live in congruence with your conscience long enough, you never sever that tie. The second you break the bond between what your conscience is calling you to do and your actions actually applying them in this life, that's when the message is severed. And you have to re-earn that. Years and years and years on end of living in complete congruence with one's conscience will give them the ability to tap into a universal message. A lot of you guys will say, I don't have regrets. Regret is not a choice, you stupid motherfucker. Why would regret ever be a choice? What we regret as men, as women, as humans is attached to universal law. Universal law is never something that bends. Universal law never fucking changes. When you go against universal law, regret ensues. Like I said before, the universe, the source, God speaks to you in your soul with a divine message that is actually a feeling. Any negative notification internally is telling you you're making a mistake in an area. So once you've messed up and regret ensues, you're supposed to learn from that. Now, how quick could a human flourish in this life if every time they experience a negative internal state from an action, a thought, or something they did incorrectly that was out of alignment with universal law, if they never did it again. If they never once did it again, the second they felt that notification because they knew it was God's voice. If they knew that that was the voice that was guiding them through life and they did not fucking question it. There was zero question in their heart, in their soul, that this was the exact path they're supposed to walk. You have met plenty of these people in your life. They're instrumental figures. They put you right back on path. You're supposed to be one of these people. You are supposed to be listening to this message from above that is only corrective. We're supposed to live. We're supposed to fail. We're supposed to make mistakes. But when we make the mistake and it pains us, we're not supposed to denounce that pain. We're supposed to realize we're being directly spoken to and we're supposed to adjust our behavior. When the behavior is adjusted enough over time, we're supposed to be much further along. But man got in the way. Wes Watson got in the way. People got in the way. Society got in the way. Humans started actually reporting to society. They started reporting to other people instead of reporting above. So once they reported to other people, well, these were people with flawed beliefs. These weren't universal law. Universal law would have deemed them correct or incorrect. It's very binary. There's no in between. There's no halfway doing it. You either did it or you didn't. You either abided or you didn't. And this is a very simple way of living. And the reason I've flourished so much since I've got out of prison and since I changed my life, even before, way before I got out of prison, is because I knew I only had one more chance. And in that one chance, I could not afford not one fuck up, not one. There's been very few ways 
that I've broken character since I've been out of prison that were out of alignment with universal law, but it goes into the smallest thing. I've never used any alcohol. I've never used any drugs. The only things that truly, the only things where I truly experienced regret were in my diet and coming out of character with people. So coming out of character with people, crossing a boundary that was meant to teach, but then the emotions came in and I've actually caused them emotional damage by the way we were speaking. And this is uh, anybody in passing, this is, this is anybody I've had a slight you know, miscommunication or, or direct fucking verbal altercation with. I've never been in a physical altercation since I've been out of prison, none. And people are always like, uh, don't people test you? No. And, and uh, what would you do? Handle my fucking business. Nobody's done it. Straight up. And the whole thing is, is like, does it make me tough? No, it'd make me, it'd make me just a man who stands for his shit. Do I want problems? Of course not. I'm rich. The only people that want problems are losers. People who are losing look for problems because they don't respect themselves. They don't respect their life. They actually are looking for a way to disrespect the moments they have in their life. They don't get it. They just don't see it. They're, no one who's very successful goes looking for problems. People who are looking for issues like this, they're losing. You guys, make it very simple. Just understand that that voice in your chest is source wisdom that's guiding you moment by moment. So you don't even have to think about what's going to be done next. People are like, well, what do I do? If you slept in and you felt like you should have got up earlier, get up earlier. If you drank over the New Year's, and if you drank over New Year's and it's telling you you shouldn't do that ever again, like it does every time you drink, stop. Every time you drink, the way you feel, your body, it's not you. You've gone against universal law and now you feel a certain way. A lot of people go against it because they'd rather never give up their creature comforts. I just love you guys. I know how to walk correctly and I'll continually be successful. And success may not look like what you believe it to be. It may not be another Richie. It may not be more cars. It may not be uh, the financial success. It may not be anything like that because let's go back to what success was to me when I got out and why I became a multimillionaire. Success to me was the man I created that I was proud of. So that man was fully aligned with universal law. That man was fully in congruence with his conscience. That man was reporting above. That man was speaking to God directly. And he was abiding directly by his wishes. So that man was my definition of success. I got out and made millions off of that man. A lot of you guys don't realize the power in that. I became a man that lived a certain way. The way that man lived had a, such an immense energy and operated at such a high vibration. It made me millions and millions of dollars because of that man that I created. I didn't make money. I didn't make my millions telling people I can make them millions. I'm not one of those. I made 20, 30 million dollars off of the man I had created, the individual that was in alignment with truth. Understand the difference. A lot of you guys think you're big and bad because you built businesses, because you have money, because you have this, because you have that. My definition of success has been since day one, a man who does not break character. That is fully aligned with Aurelius. When he says, the only time a man could ever lose moments of his life is when he chooses to break character. The man who never chooses to lose moments of his life will utilize his time and his energy so efficiently that he will surpass all other men. That's fully aligned with karmic debt. All hours useful. I love you guys. I'm gonna keep showing you what's possible. And like I said, it may not, as I evolve, be what people think it is. But you'll see greater peace in me. You'll see continued elevation, continued growth. You'll feel a heightened connection with me. And I will continue to elevate in the ways I deem successful. 
and it will never be the money that I'm deeming success. The day that I'm showing you that the money meant more than the man, I will have slept in, I will have not showed up for the world on here and in my life, and I would have chosen me over everyone else. That will never happen. Love you guys. Let's go.